F-18 jets take off quickly from a U.S. aircraft carrier in Red Sea. The USS Dwight D. Eisenhower aircraft carrier scrambled F-18 fighter jets to take out enemy cruise missiles, anti-ship missiles, and drones launched by Houthi rebels in what the Pentagon describes as a complex attack on the American and British fleet in the Red Sea by the militants in Yemen. For over a decade, the Iranian-backed rebels have controlled the country's capital and the Red Sea coastline. Now to show support for Palestinians in Gaza, they are attacking ships and taking hostages in one of the world's most vital transport arteries, the Suez Canal passageway linking Europe and Asia. In a statement, the U.S. Central Command said, in addition to the aircraft carrier, three U.S. destroyers took part, the USS Gravely and USS Laboon, both with home ports in Norfolk, Virginia, and the USS Mason with a home port in Mayport, Florida. The UK's Defence Secretary said it was the largest attack so far since the Houthis began targeting ships in the Red Sea. One of its warships aided in the response, fired guns at drones headed in its direction, and launched Sea Viper missiles. With global commerce at risk, the only way for the US to stop the Houthis may entail a retaliatory strike on the mainland of Yemen even though such an attack would risk upending an uneasy ceasefire in that country and further inflaming the Middle East. I'm just not going to speculate one way or another about next steps. As I said, we're consulting with our allies and partners about what the next steps might be again, said John Kirby, spokesperson for the National Security Council. The Houthis have a choice to make here. We have made it eminently clear, as our allies and partners have, but these attacks have to stop. I'm not going to telegraph punches one way or the other. The U.S. on Friday launched a sixth round of strikes on the Houthis in Yemen, a U.S. defense official confirmed to The Hill. F-A-18 fighter jets launched from the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower aircraft carrier to hit Houthis preparing to fire anti-ship missile launchers, according to the Associated Press. The U.S. launched strikes nearly every day this week, targeting Houthi operations and capabilities in a mission to protect the Red Sea from the armed militant group backed by Iran. The near-daily fighting follows an initial round of strikes targeting radar and missile sites, last week meant to degrade Houthi operations. Houthi militants, however, are resisting the bombardments and have responded with an attack after nearly every U.S. strike. The U.S. struggle to stamp out Houthi operations targeting merchant ships in the Red Sea leaves global trade in disarray. As the militant group has severely disrupted shipping since they began the attacks in late November. Along with strikes, the U.S. has also deployed a maritime task force to the Red Sea to protect commercial shipping but several major shipping companies remain skittish. They have avoided the transit route and decided to go around Africa for a much longer trip. Houthi militants say they will continue to attack targets in the Red Sea so long as Israel continues its war in Gaza against the Palestinian militant group Hamas.